welcome back to the Sunday Morning Fishing Show. Today's episode, we're going for some long nose gar. And we're going to be using the Husky Jerk Crankbait for these. Now they love the crankbait, and they're a real fun fish to catch. Now I've actually caught some of these in real life, and these things are covered in an armored scale. Now, if you move against these scales, you're going to get all sliced up. Now, that's for their protection. And they're riddled with teeth along their nose. But they're also known as a needle nose and a billy gar. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to just hus give these husky jerks a little jerk here. Every once in a can, you want to get, holy shit, we got a fish on. Now, these fish, they hit real light at first. They kind of pull your line first before you gotta set the hook on them. So you gotta have some real extra patience on these guys. Oh man, this one's a fighter. He likes to fight. That's good though. All these things are real good fighters. I don't know if you ever caught one of these in real life, but I have not Holy shit, do they ever fight. They twist and turn just like an alligator doing the death, death roll. They get your line all tangled up on their nose and they're covered in teeth, right? So if you don't have a steel later on, there's a good chance your line's gonna get cut and they're gonna swim free. But these guys like to take their time coming in. You gotta be real patient. They're real fun getting them in here. Let's go here, boy. This husky jerk's working really well so far. I just launched that thing out there with those seconds, uh, we got a fish on. And I'm fishing, uh, actually where you catch the legendary long nose in starry mode. That's where I'm fishing right now. Right along that train track. You gotta be careful of that damn train though. Oh man, I tell you one time I was fishing here. Train went by, my horse went flying. So I didn't park him somewhere because some were safe. You know what? I don't think he's safe right now, but that's okay. Look at that fish, man. That's one beautiful fish. Long nose guy. Holy. 19 pounds, 15 ounces. Holy shit. That's a big fish, man. 19 pounds. Holy. I'm just gonna launch that there. Hopefully no damn train comes, I tell you what. Let's get this line back out there and see if we can get another one. Oh man. Now these long nose, they're a really fun fish to catch. And a certain time of year, they're all over the place. I'm assuming it's their mating season. But they're all over. You can be you be just fishing, you'll be seeing them all over the place, so at least where I'm from. Holy shit, already we got a fish on. Oh man, there's no adding in here, boys. This is every cast, every fish. Oh man, that's some good fishing right there. Let's get this guy in here and uh, let's see what he's gonna weigh, because I'm kind of curious. He doesn't feel as heavy. If you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the fight's not as heavy as the last one, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. We got little fishies swimming around me though. I tell you what, this is a good little spot right here. I'm using the husky jerk. Did I say husky? Yeah, I'm using the husky jerk. Oh man, this is a good lure. I don't know if you guys use your lures a lot, but uh, I most certainly love my lure action. They got the realistic swim. They catch fish like crazy. They're real fun. This is some good fishing right here, boys. And good thing is, I'm real close to a butcher's. So any fish I keep, I'm just gonna run on over there and sell them. Make a few bucks at the same time as me fishing. My show's not about money making, but hey, if it's there, I might as well do it, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy in here and see if he's gonna be bigger than the last one. Look at that beautiful fish. You can see that armored scales. You go against that thing, you're gonna get all cut up. 
18 pounds, 10 ounces, it's a little bit lighter. That's okay though, they're beautiful fish, man. I tell you what, I'm gonna put that guy back in the water and hopefully he can get a little bit bigger. I've already kept one. I'm gonna put one on my horse so there's no point in me keeping any more. I'm gonna switch something up here and uh, let's go back on up there and see if we can catch another one. Let's see if we can get something bigger. So let's get this thing back out there and see what we're going to get. Now I bet I'm going to catch another fish real quick right now. They love this husky jerk. This is one hell of a spot right outside of St. Denis. On that train track, we're going for long nose guard today, guys. Holy shit. And they are everywhere out here. Holy fuck, we got a fish on. Get them in here. Oh man, this is going to be a nice one. Oh, she's a good fighter. We got little fishies. I can see little bubbles everywhere. Oh yeah, this one's fighting. She's splashing and splishing. She just don't want to come in yet. Oh man, she's a good fighter. We got to tie her out. And then we'll get her in here. We'll see how much she's going to weigh. Oh man. I want to know, you guys ever caught one of these things in real life? I know I have, I've only caught one. I've seen a bunch of them around me, but they're a really hard fish to catch. I've heard you can actually catch them with balls of rope. You don't even need no hook, string and rope. They got so many teeth that they actually get all tangled up on the rope. And you can just bring them on in like that, that's pretty cool. Let's get this fish in here and let's see what she's gonna weigh. Oh man. I had a late night last night, guys, so this is a really early morning for me and I'm real sore from my late night. So this fish is really tiring me out. Let's get this thing in here. Oh man. She's a big fish. She just don't want to go. Oh, there she goes. She coming in. She's tired just like I am. Holy, look at that beautiful fish. Gee whiz. Beautiful colors on them. 18 pounds, 10 ounces. Not bad. Throw that thing back in there. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my episode. If you guys did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.